Detroit Gang Rivalry, Part 3. A racketeering indictment unsealed Friday in federal court is the latest crackdown on Detroit street gangs and follow waves of criminal cases targeting more than 120 members of Six Mile Cheddar Grove, Latin Counts, Bounty Hunter Bloods, Seven Mile Bloods, and Band Crew Street Gang. The indictment against the Young and Scandalous Gang, also known as YNS, also known as Glow Gang, targeted an organized racketeering enterprise that overtook the Brightmore neighborhood in northwest Detroit, according to authorities. Prosecutors allege members killed at least three people while trying to consolidate power and dominate the drug market in northwest Detroit. As a result of young and scandalous, violent domination of the neighborhood, the residents of Brightmore live in fear, prosecutors wrote in the indictment. The gang has become known as the most dangerous group in Brightmore and one of the most dangerous in the city of Detroit. Amongst the five people indicted are Corey Tony, 36, also known as Green Eyes, also known as Brightmo of Detroit. He is charged with racketeering conspiracy and possession with intent to distribute a controlled substance. Edward Tavern, 30, also known as Chico, also known as Cheeks of Detroit. He is charged with racketeering conspiracy and felony in possession of a firearm. Andre Big Man Chatham, 27, of Detroit. He is charged with racketeering conspiracy, murder in aid of racketeering, and use and carry of a firearm during and in relation to a crime of violence causing death. Kevin Pearson, 25, also known as BMG Kev of Detroit is charged with racketeering conspiracy in murder, aid of racketeering, and use and carry of a firearm during and in relation to a crime of violence causing death. Santez Skittles Wells, 23, of Detroit, is charged with murder in aid of racketeering and use and carry of a firearm during and in relation to a crime of violence causing death. Chatham is being sought by investigators. Pearson, Tony, and Wells are in custody along with Tavern. Tavern made a brief appearance in federal court Friday while sitting in a wheelchair. In a recent YouTube video, Tavern is in a hospital bed next to bloody clothing and claims he was shot three times. The gang alternatively called Young and Scantless allegedly waged a 10-year organized campaign of homicide, drug dealing, assaults, ruthless violence, arson, robbery, and shootings, prosecutors allege. In September 2010, a gang member sprayed carburetor cleaner on merchandise at a Marathon gas station in the 21,000 block of Finkel and started a fire, according to authorities. Three years later, in August of 2013, Pearson, Chatham, and Wells killed the person identified in court records as T.W. during a robbery at a gas station on Seven Mile and Shiawassee, prosecutors allege. Gang members bragged online about their violent activities, posting videos featuring handguns and AK-47 style rifles. Their status as young and scandalous members allows them to engage in illegal money-making activities while protecting them from interference and attack from others and deters witnesses from cooperating with law enforcement against them, prosecutors allege. Members dealt a range of drugs, including marijuana and cocaine, according to the indictment. On July 4th, 2015, gang members robbed and killed a person, identified in the indictment as E.B., at the Victory Inn Motel on Telegraph in the Brightmore neighborhood, prosecutors said. Days later, Pearson, Tavern, and another gang member allegedly talked about the homicide, the gang, and retaliating against gang members who were cooperating with police, according to the indictment. The conversation happened during a recorded phone call from jail. In March 2016, Chatham and other gang members participated in multiple shootings in the neighborhood that culminated in a homicide in the 16,000 block of Riverview. 
The victim is identified as A.M. in the uh, indictment. As a result of the gang's violent domination of the neighborhood, the residents of Brightmoor live in fear of shootings, robberies, arson, and other violence, the government alleged. Members of the community have been forced to endure such violence as well as the regular use of neighborhood business and residences as drug markets. At least two of the indicted appear to be members of the YNS DeMob rap crew affiliated with Chief Keefe. Two more members of a Northwest Detroit street gang have been charged in federal court with racketeering, kidnapping, and trafficking crack cocaine, officials stated. George Eubanks, 30, and James Bowens, 37, both of Detroit, were indicted by the U.S. Department of Justice officials, said in a statement. The announcement comes about eight months after federal officials indicted five members of the Young and Scantless gang, including its alleged leader, Edward Tavern. They were also charged with several other crimes, such as murder, robbery, home invasion, arson, and narcotics distribution. In the latest indictment, federal prosecutors accused Eubanks and Bowens of selling drugs in West Virginia and Tavern's behalf while he was incarcerated in August of 2017. As part of the enterprise, Bowens kidnapped and fired a gun at a person to force the victim to rent a vehicle for the gang to use to transport drugs to West Virginia, prosecutors said. Eubanks and Bowens was also charged with possessing 500 and 50 grams of cocaine with the intent to distribute it. Please hit like and subscribe for updates and post notifications.